My piece is a Thunder of a Wolf piece. I did acrylic painting on the bridge because I did a bridge on it. I did like a go to make it pop, to make it uh, vibrant and uh, stand out. Because I, I've gone to Thunder of a Wolf ever since I was a little girl and I just enjoy fireworks. So that's one reason why I named this piece Thunder Oval Oval. I just love art. I've always loved art and everyone should enjoy art and make art. Um, hello everyone. Uh, this is Marie. My name is Marie. Wild craving, and that is a good word to use. Word of word creation. I use some, you know, like old pictures and the magazines, some collage on board. Feeling adventurous, like feeling more comfortable with it and more relaxed with it. It's more relaxing and it calms you down and it helps you focus. You know, so kind of like you. Yeah overlapping your collage and you're overlapping them like you're lapping pieces together and it's always good to take your time and relax while you en enjoy doing your art like you want to get to enjoy doing your art piece and you want to take your time while you get to in other words you want to get to enjoy it in order to if you're taking your time doing it you feel more relaxed Hi, my name is Leisha. Um, I want to show you this piece that I have done because it is special to me because it speaks uh, out the life that I want to live. So I would like this piece to also inspire you to live your life the way that I live. When I was six, I had cancer and now that I'm completely over it, I want to live this life, so I inspire you to live your life as well. The background represents the uh, outside, like the sunshine and the um, the uh, earthy tones, like the wood tones. I have pictures that represent the outside as well, and people going and doing living their life and hiking and biking and uh, just representing exactly the statements that I want them to represent. Awesome. All righty. Thank you very much, Alicia. Do you have any final words for the viewers today? Uh, I would like to say thank you for uh, listening to me and thank you for, for uh, being here and I appreciate it. So awesome. thank you very much. My name is Joe Steinbach. I come here to Studio Works Monday and Thursday. Awesome. It's a silhouette oil pastel, mm -hmm. and it's dedicated to my father. Awesome. It's from a Bible passage. Uh, when Jesus meets his disciples and he says, I will make you fishers of men. He would take us out. And uh, this is more like his own personal fishing trip off to the sunset. Now, Anna had a, gave me help. Awesome. I needed some help with that. Um, it's nice to meet all of you and uh, hope I see you in the future awesome. if I'm still around. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. My name is Reggie and I'm here to talk about art. Today I want to show an art piece of which I have done recently and the interpretation of my art is to give a person an, an avenue of what the world is world is looks like within 
the mountains and the landscape which people live off of. Um, I chose to use watercolor because it was easier to use and to get the colors to blend in perfectly when I write and had done the work. In order to make it look, I wanted to make it look realistic as possibly as I could, so, and to give it that brace of sunlight that was shining. I just really enjoyed doing this artwork and it gave me the inspiration I needed so I decided that it would turn out as good as I did as it has been done but at the same time I felt this was something I wanted to do and I wanted to prove to those who see the art that they would get a feeling of inspiration from it and it would speak to them in some way of how their lives would be if they were living in that situation and time space of where they would like to be in wow. the near future. <laughs> For those of you who are art lovers, like landscapes and any other art, um, please feel free to comment on what you feel about our artwork and how it makes you and those around you feel. It has been a pleasure talking to each and every one of you and thank you for your time. This has been Reggie. And thank you, and please, at this time of year, during the COVID pandemic, please be safe, be careful, and keep a safe distance, and please follow the guidelines that's been presented to each and all of you. Thank you for your time. My name is Jenny Emidor. Here is my piece, three, yeah, three parts of picture yeah. of my roller cars. Vibrate with a waterfall. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have fun with my, my my artwork and and my watercolors. I use a, I I did use a outline with a bit of black sharpie pen. The picture I did is of a tiger getting ready to catch his prey. It's called Call of the Wild. Color pencils. Because tigers are in they are. It's still not endangered. Yeah, then I put the orange, then I took the, the orange and kind of blend the orange and then the black lines. Especially the yellow, especially the green for his eyes because his eyes like a like a like a uh, night vision. It made me happy. I went with, went, I went with a brighter orange because I thought the other orange was just gonna be too light, so I went mm -hmm. with a darker orange. Thank you. Hope you like and enjoy. Peace. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kim. Um, I've been coming here for like two years already. The title of my piece is The Wondrous Peacock. I used acrylic paint. I used like bright colors because I think like it pops out more. Yeah, I love how I did the bottom mm -hmm. that just is more vibrant. I want them to feel happy, adventurous. I could say, oh, have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Hi, my name is Christy. My piece is called uh, Fun uh, in a Beach. It was inspired by a beach team I saw in Lexington, Kentucky at the University of Kentucky Hospital that Emily Miller uh, took us to. I love the beach. I use uh, colored pencils on all of all of it. I felt absolutely wonderful, and it took me back to a lot of uh, places like the beach. And my first ever experience beach was um, Gulf Shores, Alabama, when my uncle got married, and then it was so beautiful. I wanted to feel the feel of the beach and how fun it is to be on the beach and finding a uh, different kind of color. But, um, seashells and just being in the water and having fun. I'd like to say hello and thank you for um, listening and uh, I hope you like my piece. Hi, my name is Amanda. I got inspired by listening to music in Sierra's Four Lifers. I love country music a lot. It's a powerful statement to the point. We all can relate to music. Music can make you happy. Uh, yeah, I want something bright. And the lines are supposed to be the part where like they're singing. I hope you like this piece. <laughs> Hi, I am an artist at the Studio Works. 
I like Nightmare Before Christmas, so when I added Jack, I wanted to be a creative and add a most unusual background. So I love uh, sunsets, and I added that in the ocean as a background. I'm calling it Jack Skeleton's Underworld because he's the king of Halloween and he's under the sea. Um, if you're interested in anything, um, uh, questions or anything, you can send it to the site. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Hi, I am Matt Prophet. I'm a, I'm a studio artist here at Studio Works by Zuru in Louisville, Kentucky, USA. I, um, my, my piece is Zombie Bob, the punk rocker. My medium was colored pencils, marker, or sharpie markers, if you will. And I also, I also penciled in the outline of my friend. I, I used some storylines in this piece to tell a story behind my character because as an artist myself, I like narrating my pieces. Every piece that I do has a story that I like to that I like to add in, and I feel like like Zombie Bob, the punk rocker, was a interesting uh, character to talk about today. In closing, I would like to thank you all for your time. And I would like to ask you all to stay safe during this time and during, uh, during the pandemic. Thank you all and have a nice day. Do you want me to start now? Go. Okay. Hi, my name is Natalie and I love jewelry because they make me feel better and they always complements me with my um, every time I had a birthday they just makes me like makes me feel comfortable and they just makes me feel like myself they're my favorite color because they've been my favorite favorite color ever since I was growing up. They just helped me wear, I've been wearing necklace and bracelets together because it helps me know, it helps me pick out which one to wear mm -hmm. because I've been confused with <laughs> which oh, one yeah. or in love with it. Thank you for watching. Um, have a great day.